So I thought I would do a video of feeding. This is long and boring, but I'll go back and edit it. So the first one to get fed is the Pudge. He's usually right there for it because he follows me down the stairs, but he had more important things to do today. And then I have gotten all their chaff hay ready yesterday. So it, I just come down in the morning and get it. So that's the little guys. I got a bucket for the big guys. And then the big guys get feed. And I'm not going to go into why, but the big guys' bodies can handle the feed. The little guys can't just yet. So I'm going to walk out without feed so you can, can you hear the birds? Can you hear the chickens? They're right here waiting. Look at them. Hey, girls. Where's Josie? Is she pretending to lay an egg? You can't really see through that because of the black, but there's three chickens in there right now. So I'm going to carry feed down. Chickens are still talking. They're last to get let out. I don't think they're very happy about that. No, it's foggy and it rained all day yesterday. So they're not coming out. Look at that, sitting up there like, are you going to feed us? What's up, fellers? Tucker's come to see us because he wants the food. You have to wait, man. There's Charlie. Here's Amelia and, and Ellie in here. So I put the little guy's stuff into these bowls so I can hang it for him. They're over there waiting for it. I can't show you while I put it up and hang it because the three of them are at my feet and banging around on the bowls. It's quite the wrestling match and I can't do it and hold a bowl of food and, and a camera at the same time. So I'll show you in a few minutes what the result is. Okay, so I just finished everybody. Here's Finn eating out of his bowl. <clears throat> Here's Jeter. Say hi to everybody. Eating out of his bowl. Here's tiny little Archie. Say hi. Don't eat my fingers. Eating out of his bowl. So everybody gets tethered. I'll back up so you can see where they're at. So I made my own little Quonset hut out of some goat panels and a tarp. I put some wood pallets there that I made so they're off the ground. So that keeps them out of the wind and out of the rain. Keeps them healthy. I'm sitting here looking at Jeter. He's really gaining weight. Look at that gut. Look at that belly. That's really good. He's been skinny. So uh, they get tethered because if they don't, it's like mayhem in there. They're all banging around each other trying to get a bowl and the next bowl's always the better bowl. So usually the big goats are down there waiting for me, but they must have given up. So I'm gonna go feed them. So here are the big guys waiting for the wait you want your food <laughs> hey don't eat my gloves so uh it's a bit of a wrestling match in here too so i gotta stop so i put a little bit of feed in the boys charlie is over here tucker is over here having a conniption because he really wants his He loves his little bit of feed. It's actually a cup of feed, but you thought it was like a T-bone steak or something. So now they get tethered so they don't leave. 
so they're all tethered and again it's just to keep everybody from fighting with each other feeding time is more peaceful I'm assured here that everybody gets what they're supposed to eat now for the chickens they went out too hi girls I see Josie came back out from her fake egg so there is wire around the bottom that is 8,000 volts <clears throat> that keeps the possums and the raccoons away so I have to take it off every morning when I let them out And I know 8,000 volts sounds like a lot, but it's a low amperage. That's why it's not burning stuff down. And uh, so you could touch it. I've touched it before, accidentally. It makes me say bad words. Because it, hey, hey. So Maggie is on the, le on the right eating. Josie is the blonde here on the left. Izzy is the one with the dirty butt over there. And Babette just walked in. She's the black and white Moran. Babette and Josie are still discussing who is boss. And they don't like to share very well. Maggie is the only one that lays eggs right now. Izzy lays a few, but Maggie is our la egg layer. Since Babette and Josie think they're boss, they don't have to lay eggs. I don't know if you can hear her. Josie just chased her off. She told her, get away, the rest is mine. I don't know if you can hear him over my mouth talking. These two will not chase each other off. Still try. Look at her. Oh, no, you didn't. Yes, she did. I saw her. Oh, they're all gone. Now you have to go find your own stuff. You want to pose? You pretty girl? No? All right. So I just used wild bird seed to scratch. They run around, scratch up the yard. You can see where they're digging under the fence over here. And then I just throw it out there and they'll spend the day digging on that. So now it's time to get the hay ready. I don't know who's watching this, but these are my hay feeders that I made. They're just two by fours, two two by fours high, a couple two by fours legs. I got some planks from Lowe's for the bottom. There's a gap in between each one, so stuff falls through, but they clog up. And then uh, that's Pex pipe. Uh, in between there so that if they're about four inches apart and if somebody gets their legs stuck in there and gets hit the pex pipe pops out so nobody gets a leg broken and then uh, I store a bale of hay above here and if you're not a hay person that right there is a flake so you see all the hay being done out in the fields when they're raking it and fluffing it and all that, when it gets put together, it comes apart in nice little flakes. So the big guys get two flakes, two big flakes, because they're eating a lot of hay right now. I'm really not sure why, unless it's just really good hay. And uh, so then the rack goes on top like such and yeah there's poop everywhere because that's what they do they're just really big poop makers in one end out the other end 
So now I gotta get the little guys hay. So the little guys have two Quonset huts. Archie wants to say hi. They had time going out. They have two Quonset huts because uh, I can't put a barn this close to where the house is and all. But this is to keep their hay dry and them dry when they're eating hay. And so I just put a flake in here just like I did before with the big guys. I got water buckets everywhere. Well, not everywhere, but uh, there's one down there. The little black bowl is for the chickens to drink out of. And the rain has been keeping them full, so I don't have to fool with them. But these goats do not go out in the rain. And it's not because I don't want them out there. They don't go out on the rain because they don't want to be out in the rain. They have figured out over time that they are exposed to pneumonia. If their spines get wet and their top line gets wet, so they don't go out in the rain. So here's a bucket to keep them out of the rain. So I gotta fill that one up. Now we have to go find chicken eggs. Now, last night I noticed, okay, so I just keep stuff here in this milk crate and then that's the bale of hay. And I don't know if you can see it. Back there is an egg. She has decided back in this corner is where she's gonna lay her eggs. So we're just gonna reach in and get that one. I'll put this back. I'll even give her a little more space there. Maybe she'll come back today and lay eggs there. So that's one egg. That's in the that's in the barn with the goats. When it's rainy, the go the chickens hang out with the goats. So uh, I am in their coop right now and I just made this out of straw bales uh, it's, just a, it's just a windbreak so that they have a place when it's really nasty and windy and cold and Josie's bitching at me she knows I'm going to take their eggs look she's going to peck me in a minute maybe not as soon as I take the camera off her she'll peck me anyway this is where they hang out in the winter and every once in a while I find eggs up here so I haven't checked eggs this week. Oh, look at her. Oh, look, the tiny one. Oh, there's a couple tiny ones in there. So the blue-green eggs, they're muddy too. Look at that. The blue-green eggs are the, the um, Americanas. That's Izzy and Maggie. And then those two little tiny dark ones in there are Babette's eggs. Those are Moran eggs. They don't have a yolk. So it's not that she's laying tiny, cute little eggs. They're just, they're just shell and albumin. That's, that's it. There's no yolk in that. So if I could market that, right? If I could get her to lay yolkless eggs, I could sell egg white eggs. Oh, wouldn't that be cool? So I'll pick these up. Now comes the best part of feeding time. Picking up poop. So if you've never read it, there's a little kid's book. Everybody poops, everybody poops, including goats and chickens. And since it's been raining all week and they're inside, what's the deal? You eat Nelly? So there's a theory that uh, goats like to show off their mouthfuls of feed because the bigger the mouthful of feed, the more important the goat is. Ellie has got the biggest mouthfuls of feed. She will reach in there. Tucker's bowl is empty and he figures if he hits it enough, food will appear. It, it never happens. Anyway, Ellie's got the biggest mouth for feed and she will pull out huge clumps of hay and stuff and and stick her head way up in the air to show it to you. I guess she's not going to right now. Anyway, nobody wants to see me rake poop, so I'm going to clean up poop. So for now, this is where I've been dumping all the stuff out of the barn. 
and I don't know if you can see it, but this is right behind the barn, right? So that's the back. And uh, this is where all those pretty four clocks come up every year. So June-ish, this whole side is going to be this bright, brilliant pink. And I'll take a picture and show you them too. But that's the back of the barn. It's kind of built into the side of the hill. So those are uh, two by sixes. So what's that? One, two, it's about two and a half feet tall, the wall that it's built into the bank of. So I'm all done feeding, watering, picking up poop. They're done eating. Tucker is right on the other side of this wall. I think he heard me talking and he stopped because he was banging on the pole again with his head. This is their favorite time. Cookies. You ready for your cookies? So, of course, animals eat animal crackers. Come on, that's funny. There's one for Charlie. And there's one for Tucker. And then I gotta come over and feed Amelia her three or four. Don't feel sorry for the boys, they get plenty. See, she doesn't like to eat out of my hand. Look, she's telling me, put that stuff in the bowl. Oh wow, she did take it out. Oh, she dropped one, so. She does not want out of my hand for any reason. And yes, I've washed my hand. So, I unhook her. That's what this is, is everybody getting unhooked. Charlie sticks his head over the wall to get his. Here is Ellie. She doesn't care, but she's delicate. Yes. I usually give them a couple extra but they just ran out, so not today. Okay, this is the best one. Tucker's losing his mind for his cookies. Get back there. Get up on the wall. Get up on your pallet. Back up. Oh, the girls just figured out where the cookies were. Well, that was a major fail. They're all gone. They're really all gone. And then here's Charlie. He just wants them. He doesn't eat them and slop all over me like Tucker does. So the little guys are done eating. They take the longest, so are little guys there's Archie we got a tongue going he knows he's getting cookies so I gotta unhook him I don't know if I can do this one handed see that wasn't too bad cookies let's let's zoom out Because that's what you do is you get cookies after you got your food, right? You gotta have dessert. This is breakfast dessert. These guys are not as delicate. That's a finger. Just the cookies. Archie is getting cheated. There's some extras. There's one for you. Last one for Finn. All gone. That's it. We're all done. Hand up is the international sign of no more cookies. See? He's learned. Archie, not so much. He doesn't give up. 
to eat my glove. So that was, I don't know, about 40 minutes. Everybody's fed. Everybody's semi-happy. Girls are banging heads over there for some reason. Boys are eating hay. It's muddy. But these guys don't know there's a virus out there. These guys don't know about the economy. They just want fed every day and want clean water. So that's my peace in the morning. Okay, so I just finished everybody. Here's Finn eating out of his bowl. <clears throat> Here's Jeter. Say hi to everybody. Eating out of his bowl. Here's tiny little Archie. Say hi. Don't eat my fingers. Eating out of his bowl. So everybody gets tethered. I'll back up so you can see where they're at. So I made my own little Quonset hut out of some goat panels and a tarp. I put some wood pallets there that I made so they're off the ground. So that keeps them out of the wind and out of the rain. Keeps them healthy. I'm sitting here looking at Jeter. He's really gaining weight. Look at that gut. Look at that belly. That's really good. He's been skinny. So uh, they get tethered because if they don't, it's like mayhem in there. They're all banging around each other trying to get a bowl and the next bowl is always the better bowl. So usually the big goats are down there waiting for me, but they must have given up. So I'm going to go feed them.